Uh, welcome back to the Gamer Guide channel. We're trying out a brand new game today. It's called Wheel Riders Online OBT. It's a free-to-play game um, on the Steam shop. Uh, I noticed the save files were called War Cars Online, so it might have been called something else at one time, or maybe they're going to change the name. But right now it's called Wheel Riders Online. It looks a lot to me like Crosshouse Garage, I'll say. And uh, a lot of the mechanics and the pictures I looked at look a lot like Crosshouse too. Uh, it is kind of a Russian game, so as you see there, I had to figure out how to switch it over to English, but that little uh, button in the bottom there uh, switched it for me. Um, we got a garage, and you can kind of look outside in the garage. I'll say the garage looks pretty nice. Uh, we got a couple different parts in here that give you. Uh, looks like some base parts, a thick frame or a thin frame, and they're just kind of uh, rectangular shapes. And you get a number of different cabs and guns and stuff. Um, it... The controls are kind of wonky, I'll say. I don't really like it. Um, it's super touchy, but uh, I'm kind of getting the hang of it. And I think the only reason I'm able to figure this out is because I've played Cross Out. Um, some of the controls are real similar, like uh, the rotation keys and everything are kind of similar. All right, this is not to scale at all. That's the microscopic frame there. Uh, and we have a giant cabin and other parts. It looks like we have only one complete car we can build uh, with three parts on top and then a whole shitload of little, little frames. Um, or you can have one frame that's an entire car or a piece of a car. So <laughs> it's not really a lot of choices. One thing that annoyed me real quick is the uh, audio on that. I had to turn the sound off because it was like playing the same loop over and over again. And it was driving me crazy. So I turned it off as it was super annoying. Let's see if there's this Volga truck on the back. If we can get that going on there. All right, some of these things do not fit on very easily. But this is the only thing that looked like a complete set. Looks like we also have uh, some different guns. You can have a machine gun start, a gun light, which is basically a machine gun, and something called a saw gun. I'm not sure why it's a gun, but I'm going to take it as a bad translation in Russian. And we got a bunch of different wheels. One looks like a pancake wheel, and then we got some other ones and a buffer bumper grill. Okay, let's try that out. Police wheels, got some lights, um, and then here's everything. So they give you a nice little starting uh, set to, to use. Now let's try to get this thing on the back now. It doesn't really match up. It doesn't like really connect satisfyingly to the back of the other part, but I guess that's better than nothing. All right, let's see if we can get the bumper here on front. All right, if you have OCD, this is definitely going to bug you because this bumper does not fit on the front right. <laughs> you can uh, maybe have it on the side or on the top, but it's going to be shifted to the left or the right, and I guess you're going to have to get used to it. So sorry, OCD people. You're already going to hate this game. All right, we got... Um, a bunch of different wheel choices. I'm not really sure what all these power points and structure things. I mean, it's kind of similar, I guess, to Robocraft. What the hell? This looks like a skateboard wheel. <laughs> oh my god. Is that a serious wheel? That's not to scale at all. I mean, that's that's terrible. <laughs> it looks it looks honestly like a skateboard wheel. All right, this thing at least is the right size for the vehicle. Let's try this. But why is it covered in snow and mold? And it's got sparkles on it, too. It's like it got hit with a Christmas bomb. All right, we'll go ahead and put those on. I took off the saw guns and I put on the machine guns. I see there's like a energy in the bottom right corner display that you can choose from, I guess, or it tells you how much you have. I got five out of three, so I'm obviously not going to be able to use both guns. All right, there we go. It is complete. The Volga has taken off. Where the hell did it go to? All right, it decided to leave the garage on its own accord. It's possessed. All right, it's back. And now it's smashed into the wall. It looks like we also got three save slots. So we got a couple different vehicles we could build if we wanted to. All right. So that, this time it's staying. Let's go and take it out to a test and see how this thing maneuvers. What the hell? Oh, my God. I can't stop it. Let me... I'm trying to hit brake right now, but nothing's happening. All right. I obviously don't know. There's some kind of weird thing for how to drive this because... Well, all right. Now it's kind of controlling, right? But I didn't do anything. The car just took off out of the garage on its own accord. All right, this this is terrible as far as the handling is so far. Let's see if we can do any better on this run. What the hell? It feels like I'm playing in a 5,000 ping PvP game, but this is just test. What the? All right, there's a poltergeist in my car, and it's throwing me a, basically throwing the steering wheel around in the accelerator, and I, I feel like I'm just along to make it suggestions to the angry spirit who's trying to kill me this is terrible this is <laughs> oh my god all right what happened to my police sirens too why are they now thin strips of metal uh yeah and if you don't like sparkles it's, it's kind of annoying 
All right, I can't get over the railroad tracks now, but we're trying. All right, so let's try our guns out. Um, I can shoot one of them, but I, I guess maybe we have to hit another key. There we go. You got to switch between one and two. Uh oh, train coming. All right, I guess there's trains in this game. That's interesting. Okay, well, at least there's something uh, happening in the games. All right, let's see if we can turn around. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is this is the worst controls I think I've ever played in any game ever. So I'm not sure what is the problem here, but they need to do a total revamp. You're definitely getting the better experience watching it on YouTube because if you had to interface with the mouse and keyboard on this, you would be uh, very frustrated and cringing right now. What the hell? Stop. <laughs> what was that? It's like you're possessed. It's like a poltergeist has picked your car up and thrown it. All right, we're back in the garage. Looks like it permanently bent one of my guns off the hood. I'm not sure what happened there. But uh, at least that's kind of cool that it fucked my car up a little bit. But I think that's just a glitch. Um, all right, let's see if there's anybody actually playing this thing. I can't imagine the multiplayer is going to be very fun. It's going to be like a disaster of people who can't control their vehicles being flung together in a blender. Um, no one is online. So, uh, okay, I guess I'm going to have to go back and we'll create our own game. Let's see. What is team per team? Uh, maybe they mean team versus team. I think that's got to be translation issues from Russian to English. Team per team, huh? Loading. All right, here we are. And I got the sparkles going. Let's see if we take off like a bat out of hell again in warp full warp drive. Oh, no, okay, this time we're not going full speed ahead. Looks like I am the blue. I guess that means the blue team. <laughs> Not sure. I think we got another translation problem, but I can forgive that. But this is terrible. What? Oh my god! I'm being pulled again by the poltergeist. He's taking me sideways. All right. Terrible controls, but at least we're in a grassy meadow. This is better than the uh, cityscape, I'll say slightly. And oh my god! What the hell is going on with my wheels? If you have epileptic seizures, close your eyes now, or you might die. <laughs> All right, uh, with all the sparkling lights in the tires, I don't know what the tires are doing. They're like warp drive effect, but uh, very uncontrollable for sure. All right, but we can go over the grassy meadows and shoot the grass and trees all we want to. And I guess go over rocks without any problem at all. All right, the warp drive visual effects in this are mildly entertaining <laughs> at best. But this is definitely the worst controlling game I've ever played. And as far as options, I'm pretty underwhelmed on what you can build here so far. I think you actually have to go and buy parts. And I'm not sure if maybe you earn stuff in PvP. But with no one playing the game, I guess we won't know. But uh, this is pretty bad. And the uh, s sparkle tires here. <laughs> oh my god. Let me try to sum this up. It, this would be like if your dog, when you were a kid, got into the arts and crafts and, and ate all the glitter out of your childhood uh, toy box. And you took it out um, to use the bathroom, and it laid beautiful turds. They basically feel terrible, smell terrible, but they look okay. <laughs> that's, that's pretty much what this game is. It's a sparkle turd. So instill, instead of uh, Wheel Riders Online, I think I'm going to call this game Sparkle Turd. You can buy parts here if you want to, but I want to suggest it as no one plays this game. Uh, you can buy for the money or buy for the points. I guess they're going to have uh, multiple ways to earn if you actually can get a game. I'm going to put the skateboard wheels here on the truck. and <laughs> We'll see if it does any better. Oh my god, warp drive again. <laughs> I can't stop this thing. Uh, no, no luck turning. All right, the sparkle turd with mini tiny tires is uh, now possessed by Satan. And uh, we're being flung around the streets once more. But guys, uh, hopefully you have enjoyed this. I would not recommend this game. Uh, I'm going to install it as soon as I finish up this review. It's terrible. Um, hopefully the developers will work on it some more because it definitely needs it. Um... I would probably play this game again if they paid me like $1,200, maybe more. Uh, it's terrible. And if you want to play something that uh, is an underplayed block-based game, play Galactic Junk League or play um, 
the last leviathan those are actual good games that are going to have multiplayer or this underutilized this is terrible and it's actually kind of a sad ripoff of uh, crossout uh, even though some people say crossout is a ripoff of robocraft at least there's some obvious differences this thing's almost exactly the same and what is this i'm driving on it looks like a tar filled licorice fruit roll up is this how roads look in russia <laughs> i mean I've never seen anything like that i mean the rest of the map's not bad but i've never seen a road that looks like that but that's a small i'm getting nitpicky now on this game but uh terrible the controls are terrible uh overall experience the best thing about it is the way it looks it's kind of inter mildly entertaining having skateboard wheels on my suv uh, but this game needs a lot of work anyway guys hope you've enjoyed this uh please leave a thumbs up uh, for the time I took into Sparkle Turd to show you how terrible this is so you don't waste your time on it. And uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this uh, Sparkle Turd. And uh, we'll see you guys in my very next video. Later!